Hey guys, it's Reaper 106 here. Uh, this is going to be an unboxing and review of the Through Night T10 version 2. This one runs off of a uh, AA battery or, or a lithium ion battery of 14500. Um, according to the website and the, um, yeah, to the specifications, if you go off a uh, AA battery, it runs about 160 lumens. I'm not sure. I really don't bother with uh, double A's. If it says, the flashlight says it can do lithium ions, I always go for lithium ions. Um, I have a lithium ion battery here, 14500 at EBL. Sadly, you can't find those on Amazon anymore for 18650s or sometimes 14500s. But anyway, I'll go and show you guys what it is and all this stuff. Um, now, you got this sleeve, all this stuff. Just a basic tin can. I kind of wish they would put the logo on it and all that stuff. But, you know, in case you want to um, reuse the can as a gift or something like that. You know, it doesn't have the name on it. So, you can resell it. Whatever you want in the can. Now, I'm going to do a review for you guys. Apparently, I opened it upside down. So, you got your good old... I'm going to turn the camera around. You got your good old manufacturing, warranty card, and all this stuff. Now... It does not come with the battery. I stuck this in here. This one's all charged. This is the EBL 14500 800 milliamps. It's uh, 50 milliamps more than what it says it can take, so I'm not sure. But I um, I did use this flashlight before inside my house. Um, so I pack it. Uh, but I have not used it outside. And I'll show you why I got this flashlight. It's going to be for my family. Now first off, let me get my headlamp on. And all this good stuff. So, I'm going to put you guys down for a minute. Okay, I got my Through Night um, TH10. I think it's TH10. Yeah, TH10. They don't make this one anymore. This one has been upgraded, so if you guys want to get this one, um, good luck finding it on Amazon, eBay, but I highly recommend just getting the updated one. So now, so this is how it works. So, you get your flashlight, it has, it's a magnetic tail cap, that's where I got it. It's on and off buttons right there in the different modes. You just untwist it. Now obviously the positive goes this way, negative goes in first where you guys can see that spring. So, take your lithium ion battery, shove it straight in, and you just screw it back in. Now, it's going outside. Check it out. So that's why I got it. So as you guys can see, oh shit, I need to pop the trunk of my truck. So that's why I got my truck and I was walking in some bushes. Well, let me go and turn the camera around and you guys will see where I'm at and all this stuff. You guys see that? I'm in utter complete darkness. My flash is on on my phone. Here's my truck. I have it open. Now, let's just go through the modes really quick out in the open. So, I'm going to turn off my flash. That's Firefly right there. You can actually see a little bit more to the naked eye and camera. It's not picking it up. But if you press and hold, it goes low. You can actually see a little bit further out than you can on camera. And that's probably about maybe um, 30, 10 feet probably. Then that's like uh, medium. And then if you double click, that is turbo. Again, you can see a little bit more to the naked eye. It's not picking up on my phone. But yeah, it does a pretty good job. Then if you double click again, you get the strobe. Apparently it's not picking up on the camera. So, you're going to turn it off. On and off on the side button. So now, say if you're out in, um, out in somewhere, out in the outwoods, and, you know, something happens with your truck or car, come to your hood, do your diagnostics. Now, that's why I got it. So I'm going to turn this on, uh, 
low, medium. Okay, we'll stick it on low, and I'll double click the button. Now that's pretty high. Now, it's a magnetic. And it just sticks to the metal areas of the of the hood, which is pretty nice. So apparently it's facing this way. But if you bring it back, so I'm along here. That looks pretty damn bright for a flashlight if you need it in your vehicle. It sees pretty damn good. So that's why I have the flashlight. Obviously, it, this is my first time actually doing it out at night on my truck. So it seems pretty bright. Magnetic rise, you can see down there a wee bit. But it all depends on where you place the the the, the flashlight. If you have this stuff, the soft stuff, um, it's not going to stick. It's only going to stick to metal because the tail end is magnetized. And as you guys can see, that is pretty damn bright. And so, but yeah, so this is a good flashlight for um, 26 bucks total on Amazon. Um, it's the Through Night T10 version 2. It's really great. I like it. So, unfortunately, this is not going to go to my truck. It is going to go towards my uh, my mom's van and her vehicle and stuff like that. But yeah, it's it's a good flashlight. It's my first time testing it out here at night and stuff like that. And so, but yeah, it's 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 not a bad flashlight for twenty six bucks, you know. And it's 550 lumens if you run it off a uh, lithium ion battery. And what's also great about that is. Oh shit, my dome light just turned off. Hang on. Hang on, bear with me. Okay, there we go. This is uh, Through Night Archer uh, 2A, 1A version 3. One's alpha AA or lithium ion. And this one is only a max output 200 lumens. Uh, I'm sure this one will reach a little bit further, I think, in distance. But you can check all the specs on the on the fish website and and stuff like that. I'll leave links to the fish website and Amazon where you guys can get these flashlights. But yeah, this is a Through Night uh, Archer 1A uh, version three. This one's really good too, but it's only 200 lumens tail cap. If this one's not magnetized. I kind of wish it was, but it's not. But yeah, so if you guys are working on the on under hood on, under the hood of your vehicle and stuff like that, get this flashlight. It's really awesome. I enjoy it. It's really great. But yeah, so this through night T10 version 2. 550 lumens out of the small little flashlight. Uh, one's off a 14500 lithium ion battery, which I highly recommend to have a double A. But if double A's already have, then great, use it. But you know, always go with the 14500 lithium ion batteries. It is a really great flashlight. It comes in a small package. It really is bright. Again, you guys really couldn't see it on camera. Didn't pick it off that great, but to my naked eye, meaning without any electronic lenses and stuff like that, it was pretty bright. It, it was pretty bright, especially on the truck. It looked brighter to to my naked eye without the, without the camera. It looked a whole lot brighter under the hood. But yeah, so to all you people who are not flashlight nuts and stuff like this or the tactical stuff, you guys really need a good flashlight. Um, I highly recommend this one because it runs off a double A battery or a lithium 14500 battery. And I say that is because you get those flashlights you get from AutoZone or Riley or Walmart, they usually run off triple A's and stuff like that. And triple A's are kind of not that big in the whole power industry of charging in, in devices and stuff like that but yeah this so this would be a really good flashlight for you guys to have in your vehicle and your go kit and stuff like that kind of a last option if you guys need light if you guys are exploring at night or whatnot and so i highly recommend this flashlight i know i am late on doing a review on this but it is really good and let me just show you how it is again out in the, out in the dark let me go and turn my camera around i'll turn my flash off Yeah, it's pretty good. It really is. And so, got the low. 
But yeah, that's pretty bright off a AA battery. According to the website, this is 550 lumens, so that's pretty damn bright. That's pretty much what you need for a flashlight, like for your vehicle and stuff like that. It doesn't really look all that great on camera, but to the naked eye, I can actually see more. Like over here, I can see. I, like, I can actually see that. Um, you guys can kind of see it. It's a little hill over there with the stick. But I can actually see it without looking through my phone. Because that's how bright this thing is. It does get a little bit hot. A little bit, but not too much. But you can still touch it. But it is a great flashlight. It truly is a great flashlight. I highly recommend you guys get it. I will leave links in the description box below where you guys can get this. And all that. But yeah, again, it's through night T10 version 2. I highly recommend it. AA battery is pretty much the standard throughout everything. So triple A's is going to be a little bit iffy. Um, so especially if you guys have the through night keychain flashlight like I do. Uh, this one is uh, TI3 version 2. I can't remember how many lumens it is, but I like it, you know, because I have a small pocket knife on my... Um, on my keys here, I have the SOG uh, keychain knife right there where my thumb is. Then I have a fire stick in case I need to. Then a good old flashlight. So I'm pretty much good, you know, if I just have my keys and all that stuff. But, you know, for self-defense with the knife and all, then you need to get something a little bit bigger on your keychain and stuff like that. But, yeah, this is the Through Night T10 version 2. Hope you guys like it. Bye.